Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Sister here, bringing us in a Photoshop tutorial. We're continuing on to with some cool mock-ups. We're doing a, mock, a box mock-up, uh, more like a product advertisement presentation uh, box. I, you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, imagine this being your product for, you know, your graphic store, uh, your website, you want someone want to purchase something. A really cool way of getting anyone's attention is the presentation of it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can speak for everyone here, yourself, if you think it looks cool, most of the time you will take interest and look at it and what it's all about. So that's what I'm doing here for you guys today. I've been using this little box technique. I guess this little it just looks really cool and professional. You guys know about the channel and I'm trying to be as professional as possible. But yeah, this is cool as it is. I feel like it's really cool. I've been using it for my everything pack for life advertisement. I changed it up a little bit, the thumbnail for it or the advertisement. Um, you can see it's obviously if you guys don't know what this product is, it's a one time purchase of thirty dollars. So you get everything on my self I store for uh, one price, especially uh, with the little perks that come with the everything pack, once you purchase this, you get all the stuff on this site, as well as, on the site, and my site, as in, like, you know, this, my store. And then also, everything that comes out uh, after this is free for you guys. It'll be emailed to your uh, purchase, your PayPal email, or the any email that you register with the Selfi store when you purchase it. But that's whatever that is, but I've been using it for that, and it just looks so cool, and I'm just going to show you guys how to do it, because it's so simple, and I feel like it's not a waste of time at all, because something as simple as this can really bring some cool attention to your product. So... With that, let's get going. Uh, we have to really do focus on uh, what a mock-up is really quickly, just so you guys know. A mock-up is like a template. So if I were to open this up again, it'll be the same exact way. You can see it says box mock-up tutorial, a little logo right here. If I just open this up really quickly, you can see these little uh, layers have smart objects. Uh, that's what this is, right click smart object. It recognizes this layer as a smart object. You see how these, like none of these other layers have these little pages right here. That you can see right here. What this does, if I were to double click on it, for example, and press OK, it opens up what the front of the mock-up is, or what the front of the box that we just did is. Uh, and then once you do this, you can drop down and edit all the layers you have. It'll be it'll be set exactly the way it is. You can see, I didn't really name my layers, but you can see what I mean here for the example here. And if I just want to change something, let's say if I wanted to change this word box to Sesso, like so, move this over. And then with the mock-up, you can just exit it, and then make sure you press save. And then you can go here, and you can see now it says Sesso's mock-up tutorial. Uh, it's not space right right now because I have to fix it. But if I were to fix it, it can be the same exact way as before, but just in a different you know text or whatever. And the side of it is the same exact way. I click on this, double click the spine, and you can just change the text with this as well. It's really really convenient and it just works out. I like presentations and all that cool stuff. So, anyways, let's get going on the video tutorial part. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a little skip button. So uh, if you guys miss all that rambling, oh well. All right, let's get going. So we're gonna make a new layer. Uh, I, there's gonna be three different document layers. It's gonna be your main layer, your main like platform layer. We're gonna put the uh, the uh, layers that we're gonna do afterwards on this layer, and then with that, you're gonna have the front and also the side uh, or spine of the book or you know the product you know box. So with this, we're gonna go to custom. I'm gonna use my normal, which is the 1280 by 720 pixels uh, resolution at 200. And the reason why my resolution is like probably a little higher than yours is just I feel like it, it makes a difference when you do uh, you know letters and all that cool stuff with your fonts and all that crazy stuff. I just feel like it's more convenient. And you'll understand if you actually did it. But 200 resolution, press OK, and we're ready to start. So this is our main document page. So we're just going to call this main page just so you know. Uh, even if you don't really want to, want to, but you could. But anyways, also you're going to make another two. So we're going to go file, new, and we're going to change this pixels to centimeters. And we're going to change this to 1.5 width by two height. This will be the front of the box, so that's what we can do that. And then press File New again, and we're gonna do uh, 0.28 by 2.67 or 2 uh, centimeters. Press OK, and this will be the spine of the book or box. So with that, we're ready to start now, and it's actually as simple as this. You're basically almost done. All you gotta do is put it in and uh, also mess around with the perspective. So with this, I'm just gonna rename this my Twitter. I usually always do that for my new layers for some reason. But uh, yeah, with that, I'm just gonna create the front of the box now. So let's just say, I'm gonna do something really quickly so I don't waste so much time. But let's just say I wanted to do something like this and I'll make it orange. And then with that, we put the words uh, mock-up. Let's just do mock-up tutorial or something. Mock-up tutorial. And just something simple as that. I'll just use a different font just because. <clears throat> Boom. You know, it's not something flashy. I'm not really trying really hard. But this is where you would be, you know, designing the front of the box. And then, you know, you know, obviously using these all these cool little other ideas and, you know, whatever you want to do. These text 
Uh, you can also use my text variation uh, tutorial I did before. All that cool stuff can be used in like making your own advertisement front page box. It's going to uh, cause like a lot of not distraction but attention to your box so or your product. So with that, that's my mock tutorial, right? It's done. My front of the box is done. Let's just say that was it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, shift click on all these. So click on the first layer, hold shift, and click on the last layer. This will it can also select all the layers below it or in between, and then press Control G to create a group. And then we're just going to name this group uh, front. That's what I'll do. Oops, front. And then with this, you want to right click now and press Convert to Smart Object. Now this is where all the cool stuff comes in. When you press Convert to Smart Object, you can also see that everything uh, you'll see in a second, uh, everything that we actually grouped will be actually saved but in this one little uh, layer. So now with this, we drag this into our blank document that we did the first time, the 1280p by 720p pixels. We drag this right in here, and then this is, I'm going to change the uh, color of this to like something I can, so I can see it. Alright, that's fine. And then with this, now we're going to, uh, we'll do the, the spine first. We're just going to change this to, uh, we'll just make a new layer. And to decorate the spine, we're just going to put a little a simple rectangle here with the same orange. And then literally that's going to be it. Did my, yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to unlock this layer first. Uh, shift click and control G after I, you know, group it. And then name this uh, spine or, you know, whatever, whatever. I don't know why I said spine. It's supposed to be a, I always say book or box for some reason. It could be both. I don't know. Anyway, spine, once you do this, right click, convert to smart object, and this is the spine of it. Of course, with all this, you can also do the text if you want to put text here as, as well as I did over here, but for now, I'm just leaving it like this, and I'm going to drag this now into the blank document. So now we're going to have two different things. There's a reason why this is bigger, by the way. Uh, we're going to have two different uh, front and obviously the side of the box here, and then with this, now just comes messing with the perspective, and we're almost done. So we're going to just go ahead and right click. Or not right click, uh, Control T for tree transform for the on the front uh, like layer right here, and then we'll just go simply right click uh, perspective, and then what this is, what this lets you do, if I press the uh, top left, the little this little point here, you can see if I move back, it moves at a certain perspective, and I move up, it moves toward this way, so I'm kind of like match this up with the length of this right here, so that's why I did that. We'll say about there. That's perspective, right? And also you can also mess around with the distort. Uh, I would say keep around with perspective and distort while doing this. Nothing else can really you know come in use. But anyways, perspective and distort is what you want to use. But to get this like simple, nice, easy, uh, you know, tilted perspective, use the perspective, uh, you know, tool right here. And then press OK or just you know press a little check button or enter. And then with this now comes the spine. So I'm going to quickly just do this. I can actually Control T. Hold shift in the corner and make it a little bit more bigger. It wouldn't really mess around with anything inside the document either. So now with this, you simply just go ahead and control T again, right click perspective, and I'm gonna take this top left now. I'm gonna bring it downward or uh, move my mouse down so it goes to the more to the side. And we'll say like that. And if we wanna move it in now, let me just press a little check button. You can see you got the box already performed and all that cool stuff, but if I wanna move it in a little bit and not make it so uh, wide on the side, press control T again right click distort and then just move this to the right and we'll say there we go and literally that is the box and with this you can just control uh, group these two together and call this box and uh, you can save this of course as your document and such so I mean you can just save whatever you want to save it as uh, I can call it you know box template or advertisement template or you know mock-up is what it's really called but you know template is what it really is so you can always do that for that um, I'm just going to change this color because it's just going to bother me so much. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I guess. Anyways, I'm going to do that really quickly just so I can just put this on the back of it. Uh, I like to do this a lot for some reason. So simple white brush, a little bit more bigger, uh, holding Control and Alt and right clicking and moving left and right to make it bigger, the brush, and then clicking one time in the middle. And then of course you can also add what I used to do on this one. Uh, I, I did the drop shadow, a simple drop shadow, just something like simple like this. Uh, zero distance, eight spread, and nine size. Lower my opacity just a little bit. Uh, you don't really need a gradient overlay, but you could if you want. I mean, anything is possible. That looks pretty cool, to be honest. And then with that, I like to put the bevel and embos. For some reason, it just looks cooler with the little wrinkles like it gives it. If I just put this to the angle to 90 and my other angle to one, and I just lower the black opacity 
there we go simple enough it's simple and it just works i just feel like it works and i really like i really do enjoy it so anyways i really good i really what the hell i almost completely whiffed my freaking like outro but i do really hope you guys enjoyed the video 200 likes on this video obviously it was the secret down below i'm probably going to give away the template uh or right here this one right here at 200 likes so if you guys want to have that so just like the video i'll give you guys this little simple mock up for you guys to use on your own that's what i'm probably gonna do with the secret download i don't really mean to spoil the secret but that's what it's gonna be but anyways i want to say thank you guys so much for 28.9k i believe those when this video goes up i'll be at 28.9k will be a 1.1k away from 30,000 subscribers i can't wait um also obviously happy holidays to all you guys or people who celebrate christmas all that cool stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys get everything you want. I'm probably going to have a special video. I'm not really sure what I want to do, but I really do want to have a special video. That's my plan. So anyways, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to leave a like. I'll leave a comment for any like future tutorials if you want me to do. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Subscribe. Peace.